Okay, so we are reading about the Plains Indians. And in this passage, which you should have already read it prior to me going over this with you, um, I wanted to go ahead and kind of look at some vocabulary like the souks so that we knew what or who they were and how they got their name, okay? So if we look in the third paragraph, and this is paragraph one, paragraph two, and then here's the paragraph three. And in this paragraph, it helps to describe the six. And it says, in the early 1800s, most people living in the Great Plains were Native Americans. 13 individual tribes were made up, I'm sorry, 13 individual tribes made up the Sioux Nation. The Sioux were part of the Plains Indians because of where they lived. So my first question to you is going to be, how many tribes made up the Sioux Nation? So if I go back here and I look and I go to where it says in the early 1800s, most people living in the Great Plains were Native Americans, that doesn't answer my question. So I'm gonna to go to the next sentence. 13 individual tribes make up the Sioux Nation. So how many tribes? 13 individual tribes. And then if I continue on, it says the Sioux were part of the Indian Plains because of where, let me just read that again. They, they were part of the Plains Indians because of where they lived. However, the Sioux rarely stayed in one place. Well, I wonder why they only stay in one place. It's a good reader, I'm thinking out loud. They were nomadic. They moved where and when the buffalo moved. So what does nomadic mean? I'm gonna use this here. What does nomadic mean? Nomadic means that they moved where and when the buffalo moved. Now, why did they do that would be my other question. As a good reader, I'm thinking, okay, so you move when the buffalo move, but why? And it was because that they knew as long as there were buffalo, there would be food and shelter. So why did they move where the buffalo moved? Because they knew that as long as they moved there, there would be food and shelter. So I now know what nomadic means. That means that they move where the buffalo move. I know why they did that, because it provided them food and shelter. I also know by looking back here, that the Sioux Nation, let me go back here, 13 individual tribes make up the Sioux Nation, okay? And they were a part of the Plains Indians because of where they lived, okay? So I have this little handy dandy way of being able to highlight things. Hopefully you have it too. I just kind of went up here to draw. There's home, insert, draw. If not, it's okay. I just uh, try to use this for you as well. All right, here has the did you know, and it says the Plains tribes all spoke different languages. I think that's pretty important because if we all spoke different languages, it can be difficult to communicate. They created a type of sign language to communicate with each other. Ah, right there, answer to the question. I said it would be difficult to communicate, thinking how would I communicate with them if we all spoke different languages? So they created a uh, sign language to communicate with each other. That's very important. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm going to look for some more things that I want to have you answer. Okay. Now let's go ahead and finish up. I'm not reading the whole um, passage to you just because I know you can read it on your own. But right here, these are the teepees. Okay. And it says the Sooks lived in teepees. Here they are. They made a tent using I'm sorry, they made a tent shape using long wooden poles. I was going to enlarge this really quick for us. Um, they made a tent shape using large wooden poles. Uh, they were then covered with buffalo hides. So I know that these are their teepees. This is the buffalo hide. Okay, it says the poles traveled with the tribe. They knew that they might not find any trees to make new poles. So why did they carry the poles? Because they knew they might not find any trees to make new poles. So what they did was they were being, um, you know, conservative. They took things that they knew that they would need, probably because they ran into the problem prior to. And then they started to realize, oh, we have them, let's keep them, let's, you know, take them with us everywhere. 
And so I wanted to just really quick go over that they took these everywhere they went. And it says they were then covered with buffaloed, buffalo hide. So this here is the buffalo hide, and we can see that it is used for the teepee. It's kind of like uh, the teepee is their house, but the buffalo hide reminds me of like a raincoat or something because, or windbreaker, because it keeps out the cold and the wind. I'm assuming that it must be waterproof, at least hopefully, but my assumption is that it's got to be able to um, not let the rain come in. And as I look at it, I can also see that it looks like it was sewed up at the top. They also have here, which looks like different types of um, pictures. And I'm not sure what they mean specifically, but that's something that I would take into consideration when I was reading this. And then I take a look at their clothing too. Okay, last thing we're gonna talk about is when we come to this paragraph here, it says the souks used every part of the animals they hunted. So I want you to think about that, every part of the animal. Skins became clothing, blankets, and teepee coverings. So now you know. They used the skins from the animals that they hunted to make their clothes. Also, their teepees and their blankets. The tendons became thread, so now we know that this here, like I said, it looks like it was sewed. Those are tendons, or most likely they're tendons because of what we're reading. And then it says bones were sharpened into knives and spears. So if they were having a difficult time finding wood that would be sturdy and strong, um, this is probably why they used bones. It says bones were sharpened into knives and spears. I'm assuming that these were very, very strong which I know the bones are, but um, I'm under the impression too that because they were carrying around their teepees for fear that they might not find wood to make the poles, that that's also why they used their bones instead of uh, you know the natural resources around them. And here it says the souks were very resourceful people. Okay, I think that was everything I wanted to talk to you about. Now you're gonna be answering some text dependent questions.